Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in our last video, we sculpted this hammer in ZBrush. And today we are going to export this high poly and low poly mesh from ZBrush to Maya and unwrap it. And then we'll move on to texturing. So I'm just going to export this high poly first. So go here and click on this export. And make sure you have merged your mesh. So export and uh, I've exported already. So I'm just going to export again and uh, save as type uh, OBJ or you can also use FBX. I'm going to overwrite this and uh, for our low poly, we are going to use Z remesher in ZBrush. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So let's go to geometry and uh, in the Z remesher change the polygon count to let's take 0 0.25 and click on this Z remesher turn on your poly frame And we are done with the low poly. So this looks good. And we are on thousand polygons, which should be enough for a prop like this. Now I'm going to go export and export this as low poly. So I've already exported. Let's try it again. So export as hammer underscore low as OBJ or FPX. Then save. Now we are done with the ZBrush. We can. Um, move to maya and import our model there so let's go to file and import and import our low poly so go to uv editing and uh, first separate these two select this uh, hammerhead and isolate it we are going to unwrap this one first so what you can do is you can uh, go to front view go to face mode select all the faces uh, go to top view and uh, let's deselect these faces like this and uh, one more time let's deselect till here select the faces on the sides first like this and uh, repeat the same thing here on this side and you, if you selected uh, some faces inside make sure you deselect them like this and uh, let's select this one as well And uh, now we can uh, go to create and uh, planner mapping and uh, these faces are facing Z axis so we can project from Z and apply like this and then we can fold place them here on the side go to right view so go to face mode and uh, let's select these faces like this deselect these ones and uh, these ones 
maybe these two go here and uh, this side looks fine let's remove these two and uh, these faces so now this looks fine and we have selected some faces inside so let's remove them and go to create again a planner and these are facing x so we can project from x fly and just unfold place them here on the side now go to uv shells select these shells and face mode go to face mode in the viewport and uh, make invert selection like this now what we can do is uh, we can go to create and uh, planner mapping and these are facing y axis so we can project from y apply and close now we have some issue here so what we can do is we can go to edge mode select this edge and then this edge and we can create a seam here inside like this go to edge mode in the uv editor and cut then select those shells and unfold and now we are good to go like this and we have some issue here so let's see what it is so this one okay we need to cut this one so we can go to edge mode cut this and then select this edge and this so it is going to attach here so we have to add one more cut here like this so cut then select this and move and sue so all those parts are now unfold and let's lay out orient shell like this select everything and unfold then lay out now you can also merge these edges so let's select i'm going to rotate them like this so you can also merge them so let's see what we can do we can go to edge mode and select these edges like this move and sue and uh, same thing here like this maybe not this move and sue select it and unfold now select this and this edge move and sue and uh, same thing here move and sue and let's see where this one goes so we can attach it from here on the top let's try this one move and sue and this is the part from the inside so this looks pretty good so what we can do select everything then unfold and layout so we are done with the hammerhead let's bring back the handle and select it isolate it and go to create and we can use camera based or cylindrical mapping for this let's try cylindrical select it and close this envelope like this now we have these top faces so go to face mode and uh, select everything and uh, let's deselect all these faces like this go to create and uh, planner in the y and we are done with this handle and fold and layout you can select this and uh, orient shell same thing here uh, rotate it like this and uh, layout bring back your model select everything go to uv shell and uh, layout now we are done with this hammer unwrapping 
so you can select everything and see if there is any stretching and this looks good so we are going to leave it here so select everything go to edit delete by type history and uh, go to mesh display set it to soften edge and now we can export this to substance painter and uh, start texturing so go to file and export selection this time i'm going to export it as uh, fpx so here in the fpx let's move to where we have uh, our project saved so hammer underscore low so i'm going to finish this video here and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and in the next part we are going to texture it in substance painter and then we are going to have one more part with the rendering in marmoset so this series will be finished by end of this week i'll see you in the next one thanks for taking the membership and thanks for watching